Welcome everybody to Bedbug Central TV. I'm your host, Jeff White. And today's episode is a field trip. Um, we're actually out in the field today. I wanted to be able to show you guys how a heat treatment actually runs out in the field. Um, that way you can have a better understanding of exactly how all this goes down. And I am sweating as we speak. Um, this job actually got set up this morning. It's been running for about two hours. Uh, the temperature actually in this living room right now is 137 degrees. Um, so it's quite warm. Um, so basically what I wanted to do today is introduce you guys to how a heat treatment actually goes down. Um, just so that you're aware, this is using Temp Air's mobile heating unit. Um, there are other heating systems out there. I want to make sure you guys are aware of that. So when you see this and how we did this in this apartment, there are other ways that it can go down. And there are other pieces of equipment out there. I'm not going to talk a lot about results today. I'm just going to show you exactly how this works, just so you can know what to expect if you decide to go with the heat treatment for your home. Alrighty, so what we have here are mobile heating units. There are actually four of these in this apartment right now. And what you do is you basically have a generator outside. That's how Temp Air's mobile heating system works. You tow a generator on site, which is what actually powers these units. You run the electricity in, you plug them into the unit, and you basically, I'll turn it on right now so you can hear it real quick. Now this is actually providing heat at this moment. The air comes in through here and goes out through the bottom of the unit. And what these units that Tempair has created actually has on them is an actual regulator right on this unit. You can set the control for the temperature right here on this thermostat, and when that temperature reaches that control limit, it will actually shut the unit off, the unit from providing heat, I should say, and uh, until it cools down a little bit, and then it will turn it back on again. So it actually has its own regulation system. You can set the temperature, therefore hopefully controlling any damage that might be created. Obviously, you would still need to have deodorants and candlesticks and whatnot out of the house because those will melt. But outside of that, wine bottles and whatnot, you, uh, this should hopefully control any damage you might encounter. You can see me just throwing sweat all over the place right now. It's quite warm in here. Um, so basically, there's four of these in the unit right now. We also have our fans here that circulate the heat through the apartment. We get a bunch of them going at one time. We think air circulation is very critical because there are areas that you're just not going to be able to get heat to if you just heat up the apartment. Closets are a perfect example. Without a fan blowing into a closet, you may never be able to get that heat really, really well into that closet. Um, what you can also see over here is we have a couch standing on end. Just so you're aware, this is actually a vacant unit. This unit was vacated. They left the couch behind. This couch is heavily infested with bed bugs. We have it standing on end so we can optimize the amount of heat that gets to the surface area of the couch. Obviously, where this couch touches the floor, there will be a cold spot. So we're going to have to rotate this throughout the job, which is what your heat technicians will be doing. They'll be rotating furniture throughout the job to optimize the amount of heat that gets to it. And once again, let me reiterate that this is just with this heating system. There are other heating systems, and they are done differently. So remember that, no matter what I show you today, it's Temp Air's mobile heating system that we're talking about. Okay, so one last thing I want to show you guys before we do a quick walkthrough. This is a mobile temp temperature sensing unit. What this is, is it's a little white box that we put throughout the unit. These regulate the, or they don't regulate, they monitor the temperature throughout the course of the job and they send the temperatures back to a computer that we have outside in the actual truck. That way we can monitor the temperatures throughout the unit, throughout the job, and direct heat where we need it, where cool spots are being created. Alrighty, so that's basically the overview of the equipment in the unit. Uh, what we're going to do now is we'll take you through a quick walk through of the unit. You can see exactly how things are spread out and how it's running. It's only going to take a few seconds. We'll also show you the actual generator and how you know the electricity is created and, and, and pushed into the apartment. And then what we'll do is we'll conclude everything and, and off we go. Alrighty? So let's take a walk through.
mobile part of the mobile heating system. Uh, this is basically a large trailer that houses the generator and carries all the equipment. Um, and the generator, of course, is what powers the heating units inside the actual apartment. Uh, I want to show you two quick things out here. This will only take a second. Uh, right here we have the computer that's actually receiving the wireless temperature that's being sent out to it. And you can basically look at this and see the temperatures inside the apartment at any given time. And what we'll do is we'll rotate around this way. What I'm going to do is open this door, it gets pretty loud when I do that, but I'm going to open the door up and I'll show you the generator real quick and then after that we'll uh, go back in and, and wrap the show up. Alrighty, so that's the mobile part of the mobile heating system. Um, let's go back inside, I'll wrap things up and we'll move on from there. Alrighty. Alrighty everybody, so that's the temp air mobile heating unit. Um, as I said, that's this unit. There are other ways you can do this heat. Um, I'm not going to talk about much results today because I'm going to break the news here on this episode. Uh, sometime in July, we're actually going to start filming Bedbug Central TV live episodes. And in the first episode, I'm actually going to give a presentation on the effectiveness and the results that we've experienced with this heating unit and talk about where I think the, the science and technology is going. And again, that's going to be a live episode that's going to air live over the internet. You're going to be able to watch it and it's going to be a presentation. It's going to talk about all this different stuff and then we're going to have a live Q&A session with me after the presentation. So again, we'll release a date on when that's going to air and it will be recorded so you can watch it at a later date. So I'm not going to talk a whole lot about the actual results of this unit. Just be aware that in um, manageable infestations. So if you don't have a really bad problem, we are seeing a lot of effectiveness in just one heat treatment, where we are eliminating problems in just one heat treatment. With your higher level infestations, it may not be possible depending on clutter and whatnot. Um, you may, but you should still be able to drastically crash the population. But either way, again, as I said, they are showing a lot of promise in regards to treating for bed bugs. Um, Wanted you guys to be aware of that. And again, like I said, Bedbug Central TV Live will release the date of the actual presentation. We'll talk in detail about the results with this unit. Alrighty, so I hope you enjoyed the episode. I am ready to go take a break from this unit and get out of it because I am sweating and it is hot. We're going to turn all these things back on. We'll let it roll for a second so you guys can hear the full effect of all the noise. And uh, that's basically it. So if you have any questions, jeff.white at bedbugcentral.com. Please email me any questions. I hope you enjoyed, and uh, I hope to see everybody soon enough.